Family has quite the story to tell after their new baby just couldn't wait to be born. Laura Holloway delivered her son not in the hospital, but in the hospital parking lot in Webster. Channel 2's Rochelle Turner reports on the team of medical professionals who rushed in to help. It's been a busy 24 hours for Joseph and Lauren Holloway. Instead of being born inside of the hospital, baby Ty decided to show up and he was born outside this parking lot and a nurse tech was there when it happened. It was intense. <laughs> to say the least. That's how Lauren and Joseph Holloway described the past 24 hours at this hospital. I'm ready to go home. I'm tired, <laughs> but I feel good. The couple welcomed a newborn baby Friday morning. Lauren says she woke up with mild contractions, but a few hours later, everything quickly changed. I guess nine o'clock, they started to kind of overlap each other a little bit. Lauren says she continued to have more contractions. She and her husband Joseph made their way to the ATA Houston Healthcare Hospital in Clear Lake. He runs every red light and we pull into the valet parking lot um, and he's trying he parks the car and um, he's trying to get me out of the car and I'm like no I am not moving. Um, I said the baby's head is out. Nurse tech Audrey Valdez was working near the entrance and heard screams from the parking lot. Joseph told her to get a wheelchair. As I'm going to Lauren's side of it, she quickly, quickly realizes that we don't need the wheelchair because <laughs> this is happening now. She was crowning and um, I reached for a blanket in the back seat. And as soon as I came out with that blanket, the baby was born. The little guy weighed six pounds, 13 ounces, and he was 20 and a half inches long. The Holloways are thankful. Nurse Valdez was there to help. My daughter delivered her three babies. So, you know, I mean, to me, it just came natural to help. And, you know, I'm, I'm really glad I was there. I think I was at the right place at the right time. The Holloways tell me they're hoping they can go home in 24 to 48 hours so baby Ty can meet his four other siblings. Reporting from Clear Lake, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC, Channel 2 News. He was in a hurry to meet.